Yo, Ash my Wedge. Assalamu alaikum to the Muslim. And may Allah guide you to the truth. Those who not. Yo, I want to talk about a real important topic. My battery about to die. But uh, I'm trying to make it short and sweet. But uh, it's intentions, a, a, a topic about niyat. Niyat means intentions. Intentions uh, are basically uh, more important. Well, uh, let's not get into uh, you know, technical or too technical, but intentions are very important because your deeds, what you do, is based off of your intentions, how you feel, and how you dr uh, what drives you to do something or feel a certain way. Um, and the reason I want to talk about intentions is because uh, I'm, sorry, I'm seeing in my society, uh, in America at least, um, a lot of women and men are starting to uh, understand or uh, indulge into the belief of, um, well, not understand, but indulge into the belief of uh, polygyny. And I'm, 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 I'm saying not understand because, not because they don't understand, because I think they understand. Everybody has a level of understanding, and God gives the message to the small people and the big people, knowledgeable people and the unknowledgeable people in different ways. Everybody get it in different ways. But what I'm noticing is that um, there's going to crash. A crash is going to happen because just because you claim something is for uh, righteousness don't mean that it's going to end up like that if it's not truly for righteousness. Uh, and polygyny, um, I'm seeing a lot of people do it. And of course, they don't understand it. But in the beginning forms, we must be patient, um, and maybe the society will um, catch on and adapt to it because of the need in our society, how many women outweigh the men, and how many men are astray, and how many men need polygyny. Polygyny was made for a man, a male, because we were built and created with different strengths than a woman. Uh, we wonder how could they do certain things? How could we do certain things? We're different. Um, so polygyny, um, first of all, I'm going to say I don't have four wives, you know, so I'm, 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 I'm speaking from my heart, with my intentions, the best of my intentions. And uh, so polygyny, uh, before we crashed America, society, before y'all crashed, because what's going to happen is because people starting to look at polygamy for basic, uh, basically because of the sex and um, the mental aspect of it too. But they don't understand the mental aspect is a relief, a relief from the tension of society of being a man. We were created stronger. We have a stronger responsibility, a stronger attitude physically and in some ways mentally. So we got to understand that and recognize that and let nobody feminize us and change that um, understanding, intention. Because the intention is the whole key. You can practice polygyny with the raw intentions and you won't get the same reward or the outcome, the promise by God. And that's the reason I wanted to have this because I think a lot of people are doing the polygyny um, with pretty good understanding that it's needed, but they got the wrong intentions behind it. And there's going to be a crash here in America. It's going to be a crash. Something's going to happen. I don't know what, but this is not a pimp game. Okay. Even though it is a pimp game. If I use that speech, it is a game of pimping or, uh, understanding. Let's not use pimp. Let's say it's a, it's a game of complete understanding and back to that word intentions because no deed is counted without the, the intentions so that is uh that said with the intentions the intentions to marry not pimp or boyfriend and girlfriend or comfort your desires your lower desires at that pimping and all that this this is a game of marriage first you marry to
commitment to Allah, then you marry to a commitment to God. And I'm gonna be brief. I'm gonna be frank with you. Islam is the only religion gonna teach you these type of things. The things that you really need, the things that you really need to survive, that your soul needs. Islam is the only valid book that's still talking about these things because this world has degraded, downgraded so bad that you know all of the major religions. You know that God has sent different prophets to different nations, so we do have different so-called religions. And they have all been dwindled down to um, looking for help. They all need help. And that help is the Quran, which was like 1,500 years ago. So none of us alive really got any argument to say that it's not because we wasn't here. Okay, 1,500 years ago was the last revelation. We're not saying that something came up yesterday. See what I'm saying? So I'm going to leave it right there. Um, so have the good intentions or whatever you do, especially polygyny, because, uh, you know, it's going to be a crash and, you know, and then everybody going to turn around and blame it on polygyny, but it's not polygyny. It's the intentions that you have when you do things. It's tough on a man and female and you have to know your limits. The law gives us limits. The law gives us limits. Therefore, no more. Boxing. Hands up, baby. None of this. Hands up. Move. Got you.